So here are 10 things that the unmodded out-of-box PS Vita can do that the Switch cannot in 2022. It can connect to the 3G. Yes, I know, now we have 5G, but back in the day it used to be 3G, and FAT PS Vita 1100 can still connect to it even in 2022, as long as you can find an operator that still supports it. It can use custom themes and backgrounds that are still available to this day to download on the PS Store, many for free. Switch, only two options, dark and light theme. It still supports offline video and music playback, which the Switch isn't capable of, because as the Nintendo loves to claim, first and foremost it's a gaming machine, not a multimedia center. Or in other words, one less way to exploit the system. It has built-in microphone, so you can voice chat just with your Vita. Switch, no microphone. It has lanyard hole, so it can hold on your wrist. Switch, even light, doesn't have one. Vita can browse the web. Even though it's pretty basic, it still can do it. Vita supports audio via Bluetooth. Switch, no audio support via Bluetooth. Vita has real touchpads. Yeah, very useful, I know. Vita has backwards native PS1 and PSP compatibility. No backwards compatibility on the Switch. It can make selfies and videos. Switch, no cameras.